Hi, Christopher Norton here. I'm talking about the Music for Young Children project called It's Your Turn, which is teaching young students to improvise. The first thing they're asked to do is to play the piece, which is written in the book each time at the very beginning of each chapter. And the first piece in the book is called Cross Country Skiing, so I'm going to play you that. Now I'm playing this with a, a backing which is played on SuperScore, which is also available in, as a format. And you, with that and with MIDI files you can slow the track down, so you don't have to play it at that speed. But what you want to do is feel really comfortable with the backing track. The next thing we do is we have the same track playing, but I'm suggesting that you actually tap your foot to it as a pattern which is written down, a very straightforward pattern. I've discovered some students tap their foot very happily, others like to do this and actually tap with their left hand on their leg. Since it's hard for you to see my foot, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to play the whole of this example, but here's the foot example. Same thing, two bars in, and then tap. Bar five. Six, seven, nine, and stop. So that's a very good little exercise and it's important that you do that really well in time with the track. The next thing you do which is very exciting, is you clap as well. So not just your foot, but also your hand. I'm, I'm going to do it with, with two legs here like this. And. Okay, just stop. Now you can imagine, can't you, that quite quickly you might hear me go. In other words, it, it's encouraging you to, to make little rhythms up as well, but it's just getting used to the idea of keeping a steady beat and doing something a bit like you're a drummer. The next thing that happens is slightly easier, and that is we have a pat pattern to clap, which is not with the backing track, it's just free time, and it sounds like this. Now the, the Super Score version actually has a little example of what that sounds like with a bass drum and claves, like this. So you're getting used to that pattern, and then the next thing you do is you play the same pattern on the piano. It sounds like this. So the idea is you tap a pattern and then you play it. So then you go on to a second pattern. It's just really giving you a little variety of things to do, and the second pattern sounds like this. And again, if you want to hear it, you can hear it on the SuperScore super version. And then this pattern played with a new note. So instead of just C, you're playing C and E flat, which is a blue note. Mm -hmm. 
So you're again playing the same thing on the piano that you've just been clapping and tapping. The third thing, pattern wise, is one which is a bit longer. This is a longer pattern. Let me play this to you on the bass drum and clave so you can hear what it sounds like as a pattern before you don't do it. I'll join now. And then, this is very exciting, you play that pattern on the piano just with your right hand, but this time we go back to having the track again. So let's see what this is like. This is going to be the same pattern over and over with different notes. So all this has been preparation for doing a little bit of improvising and the improvisation which is at the end has the pattern you've just played for, for two bars and then you keep your left hand going and you do your own little melody and in fact the notes that I've suggested to play to use are C, E flat, F and G. So this is going to be um, me doing a little bit of very simple improvisation in between playing written pieces and this is what it sounds like. Written. So that's how it works.